Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Today I'm going to make a seafood curry. And I have a long tan, long tan giant grouper, yeah, long tan fish here. Uh, long tan fish usually you need to cook a long time, especially for the skin. People buy this fish actually for the skin, not so much for the meat. Um, to be very honest, the meat will be slightly tough, but the the skin, if you cook it good enough, it will be jelloey. It will taste really it's so super collagen. But you need to cook it for at least about 20 minutes. Yeah? If not, it's, the skin itself will be very chewy. Then uh, I will be adding some prawns here. You can also add in some sotong as well. And I'll be using my cooking apa uh, chicken powder to make a chicken stock. So we will use the chicken stock as a base to cook the curry. And this is what I normally use to make my curry. Approximately one tablespoon of garlic, uh, minced garlic, minced shallot, minced ginger, minced coriander roots. Somebody asked me a very cute question yesterday. Uh, Apa, how to buy uh, coriander roots? Well, they don't sell coriander roots uh, separately. You need to buy the whole co fresh coriander, then you cut off the roots <laughs> together with some of the stems. La. And I have here approximately about two tablespoons of um, yellow onion. Then I always mix my own curry powders. This is the very simple version, but it tastes really good. Uh, two teaspoons of um, red chili powder. One teaspoon of uh, fish curry powder, one teaspoon of uh, coriander powder, and one teaspoon of turmeric powder. Basically, only the chili will be two ratio, all the others will be one each. And today I use a um, teaspoon. And of course, you will need some either coconut milk or evaporated milk here. I, I, I run. I got no more coconut milk today. So let's start cooking. So before we cook, we can actually marinate the fish with a bit of salt or fish sauce. Up to you. I almost missed out this. Today I add something very special to enhance the flavor. This is actually fried onion. While waiting for the oil to heat up, I'm going to quickly make a chicken stock using Apa's cook cooking Apa chicken powder. Get some hot water here, put in about 1 to 2 teaspoons of um, chicken stock powder, good enough, done. Now, any broth or chicken stock, it doesn't have to be extremely flavorful. You just need to give the base flavor, so you don't need to add too much. Then you want to saute our the ginger, garlic, yellow onion and also fresh coriander root. Don't put in the uh, fried onion now, it will uh, chow down, yeah? it can get burned very easily. Free later. So take this for a minute or two before we continue, we come back shortly. So once you start seeing some garlic or onion started to turn brownish, you can uh, tune down the fire to low fire right now, because we are going to add in the mixed curry powders. Always tune down the fire before you add in the curry powders. If not, it can actually get burnt extremely easy. Yeah? So after you uh, put it in, then you can slowly raise the heat to probably medium or medium low. And you want to saute this curry paste for approximately 3 to 5 minutes to really get the nice chili oil out. Well, this after about three minutes. Next thing we can actually add in the chicken stock. So let's bring this to a boil and let it boil for. Now let, I'm going to add in the seasoning first. I'll give it a bit of salt. Some sugar, a bit of fish sauce. Remember, we have some fried onion. Put it in. You can also blend or cut the fried uh, onion smaller into smaller pieces. 
then we can uh, put in the fish humongous <laughs> so I have fish um, and also prawn today this fish I will need about 20 minutes to cook the prawn not more than three minutes so I will put the prawn towards the end if you have squid you want to put it towards the probably last one minute so different seafood different timing if you are using normal grouper fish or any normal any other normal fish then you only need to cook for about one to two minutes maximum but this long time 20 minutes more for the skin yeah more for the skin and you don't worry uh, the, if you have long tan fish with you it will not disintegrate so easily when it is cooking by the way you can let it simmer no need to be on, on too high heat yeah um, somewhere between medium or medium low that right, is after approximately 17 or 18 minutes i'm going to put in the prawn And you will probably notice, see the fish did not uh, disintegrate. And this is why this is long tan. Yeah? Long tan is like that. The meat is tend to be a bit tougher. And I decided to add in a little bit of uh, Assam puree. This is optional. With or without, to me, it's fine. Just a small teaspoon. And let it cook for another 3 more minutes. Right, this is after about total 20 minutes cooking time for the fish and uh, prawn approximately 3 minutes. Now I'm going to add in some evaporated milk. Of course you can use coconut milk, that's even more fragrant. And we can uh, do some final testing now and adjust to taste using some salt and sugar. Done. So here's my curry seafood. Put some fresh coriander on top. And this is some, uh, what do you call this? Xia pi, dry roasted xia pi, uh, dried shrimp skin. Done. So I hope you like my video. If you like my video, do share my video on your face uh, on your Facebook. Uh, come to Google Apple Facebook page to click like and follow button. And follow up on Instagram. Thank you. Bye bye.